beautiful people, it's Anton from Warhorse Training, the company that is all about motivation, inspiration and to be the best version of yourself. Push yourself into fitness and take that next challenge. Back here today to talk about my workout. As I discussed in the previous uh, video about the uh, three legs stool of fitness, check that out, there'll be a link below for more details. I talked about my workout being opposite major minor muscle groups. I tried to explain a little bit about it, but I've had a few comments about people wanting to know more. So, I went away from that video and did my back and biceps routine. This is what it looked like. Now, as you see, there's not some massively impressive numbers right there. Again, it's not about how much weight I'm lifting. It's about that time under tension. It's about getting my engine working and doing that activity part of the stool. Now, I'm not trying to say that, you know, look at my muscles, look at my lifting, ego. <laughs> but one thing I will say is that it was a heck of a workout. Now, I'm not trying to say that that is the workout you guys should do. If you want a tailor-fitted program, something that suits your needs, your body composition, what your end goal is, please pop us a comment, follow us on Facebook, and give me a message. I can hopefully help you with that. As you see, it is basically a supersetted workout between the back and the triceps. Now, with this, we go straight from a back composition movement to a tricep movement in or isolation depending what the workout actually is. It can be mixed up, I'm not saying it's what you guys need to go out and do, but it works well for me. I think it's definitely worth a try because if you do what you've always done, you will get what you have always got. And what I've got at the moment is one hell of a lot of weight on my body because I'm not being active. So, super setting, back with triceps, 30 seconds rest, back on it, back triceps, 30 seconds rest, back triceps. Do about four, five sets of these two movements, and then I would move on to the next superset. Exactly the same position, so I would superset another two different movements of back and triceps. 30 seconds rest, back on, back on, back on, back on. And it's fantastic because you really get to feel the fatigue in this particular muscle that you're isolating first, and then as you're hitting the triceps, off to the back, it is fresh and ready to go like a powerhouse. So what you're working is your engine massively, massively, massively just pumping on overdrive to try and keep this body moving in the right direction. But the muscles aren't fatigued because you are working opposite composition. So you sat there with a fresh tricep after you've just done the back movement. Now, like I said, it's about time under tension. Work on the movements yourself, feel that motion. Don't pause between sets. If you can't achieve six, drop that weight. It is far too heavy for you. It's about the way that your body's going to be moving at this moment in time. We're trying to lose weight, get the engine working, maintain that muscle. So it's not about aiming for personal bests, competing with the next person, you know, what my mate did. Leave the ego at the door. Trust me, you'll be thanking me later on. So as I keep saying, time under tension, work on roughly about three seconds down two seconds back up on whatever the movement is. So be it triceps, three seconds down, feeze it, squeeze at the bottom, two seconds back up, okay? It's, it's about correct form and doing this the right way. There is no shortcuts, guys. The reason why I've given myself a two year target, it's not because I'm gonna do it in two years time. If I achieve it in a shorter time frame, that's fantastic, but this is my two year journey into a lifestyle change of fitness. And with this workout routine, you will find that you are sweating, you're struggling to breathe, and you are really, really going at it. It's really important that you don't forget to rehydrate, have that pause if you genuinely need it, but understand your body. And if you need it, go for it. If you don't, push further, push harder. It's not about taking that easy way out. And if you hit 12 reps or above, you need to increase that weight. You need to keep that intensity high. You need to keep that weight high. You need to keep that motion true to the actual movement. Don't deviate from posture. 
Don't ego lift, controlled, time under tension lifts will reap the benefits in the long run.